Schmidt McPhee was born in Australia and started acting at the age of nine. He became very successful and starred in many films such as Romulus My Father and won several awards. Thanks to my dad, he just he's an actor there and he just asked me if I wanted to do it for fun and also my sister was an actor. So I just started doing it for fun and I did like short films and stuff. And then um, as I progressed I got to feature films. Cody Smith McPhee, Romulus My Father. Is my mother close to me again? Could you please tell her that I don't want to see her for the time being? Cody was always so dedicated to what he did with his acting skills and always perfected his craft. And the L'Oreal Paris AFI Young Actor Award goes to Cody Smith McPhee. After I got to know him, I realized Cody was a very down to earth kid that was a very successful actor. And you wouldn't have known it from running into him at our apartments. He seemed just like a normal kid that, that played around on scooters and skateboards and with his little brother and seemed very humble and kind. And when we got to know him and, and realized all the films he had done, it, it really impressed me that he kept very grounded and I think his parents really helped him to stay grounded and that um, he could very easily be full of himself like some actors here in kind and uh, a good friend to my son and he always makes him laugh and they have a great time together and just do normal kid boy things and I think that's one of the wonderful things about Cody and my son's relationship together. And I started doing films like um, The Road. After Cody moved to America he booked one of the biggest jobs of his life which was The Road with Robert Duvall. After The Road premiered, his career took off, and he was only the age of 11. Shortly after he finished The Road, Cody started a movie with Chloe Moretz called Let Me In, which was directed by Matt Reeves, who directed Cloverfield and many other big movies. Uh, this year I've worked on at least six films that are coming out in 2012. Paranorman, which is animation, and uh, that's going to be the biggest thing I've done. It's coming out in 2012. It's a stop motion film. I'm also doing uh, Romeo and Juliet in Rome and uh, about four or five other things. It was never really like, as, as I was a, a kid, I, I like, acting was my dream. It was, it was just a thing I did on the side for fun. And uh, we all didn't know that it was gonna progress this much and, and get this good and, and now I love it. And uh, my dad's working in America now and my sister's on a HBO regular, she's on a show here. And uh, yeah, so we're all working here and I mean, by the age of like 13, I traveled the world, so I can't complain. Well, that's the awesome part that my dad's always with me and uh, he's my coach and the way he teaches me is just uh, like natural acting and um, we make a whole, whole life for the character. We both kind of had the acting thing in common and his dad coached me for roles and stuff that, that I did, you know, such as Hello Herman and stuff. So. Um, I was really close to our family. You know, so when I'm on set, I can just go into it and snap out. But you know, there's a lot going on. But you always have to be uh, the type of kid that can jump out of the whole acting world and just be normal. I'm probably just out with friends, uh, chilling with Garrett Baxter. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Kid. That's cool, that's cool. And, um, well, that's great, Cody. Thank you so much for your time. And, uh, that'll wrap it up. Hey, hey, come back. Hey, okay, coming back. I used to go to that school. Yeah. Over there. Okay. And then what happened? I don't go there anymore. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, god oh. dude! Shh! Shh! Oh. oh my god, that tastes bad! You know that, you know that cat that jumps over a fence all the time and chases our dog? Yeah? Dog's scared of it. Okay. I don't want my dog to be scared of a cat. Okay? I fell over and the knife, the knife went into the cat. And I killed the cat. 
I thought if anyone saw me kill a cat, I would go to jail. So I killed anyone who saw me kill the cat. Uh... I was like, hey kitty, go away. And then I tripped and I didn't want to stab myself, so I just lodged it into the cat's throat. Don't do that. Bruh, don't do that. I'll tell you something right now, bro. I just killed a cat. And I killed a human. Because he saw. I don't know how, how, how many neighbors saw. I don't know how many of your neighbors saw. We need to move. We need to move out of this town. Uh, was that arm, was that milk off? Milk? Yeah. Yeah, the milk, bro. I don't know what you're laughing at. It's so funny here. Alright, just shut. Shut your, shut your, don't look out your blinds. The sun is sunny today. You know what? Shut all, just shut the window. You, you want me to barricade the, do the doors? You don't have to do that. It's just sunny. I don't know why you would do that.